In this video, we're going to take a quick look at edit with rollback versus edit parameters. Let's say I have a file here and I want to make a change to one of the features that are up at an early point in the feature tree. If I double click on this, you'll notice that these other features become de-emphasized and I am being rolled back in time to the spot where I first created this extrude. And I can make the change here as I would if I were to be first creating this feature. If I right click on that feature that I want to edit, you'll notice on the menu that pops up, edit with rollback is the bold option on this menu. And that just means that it is the default option, the default double click action option. And so when I double click on that, it rolls me back. One of the other options that we have is edit parameters. Now this is going to be different than how I'm editing a feature with edit with rollback. As I mentioned, edit with rollback is putting me back into that spot in time when I first created this extrude, allowing me to edit it as if I were creating it that way. However, if I right click on this and choose edit parameters. This allows me to jump back into this dialog, the same dialog, and I can enter the same inputs and make the same changes, but it keeps all the current features active. It's showing me what this part looks like at the end of the feature tree, what it currently looks like as I'm making this change. And sometimes that information can be valuable. Let's say I want to pull out this middle section, but I don't want to encroach onto where those holes have been placed down the feature tree. I can make that change and click OK. And now I've made that proper change without, you know, hoping I didn't make it a little bit too wide based on where I placed my holes. So just making sure that we are aware of edit with rollback compared to edit parameters in our NX environment.